Hey everyone, Foz here, and I just got back from seeing the crazies, and I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I went into the movie expecting, you know, not much, but I mean, the, the, the trailers may look okay, TV spots may look good and all, and, uh... I mean, the original's okay. It's not right. it's an alright movie. It's not the greatest thing. It's pretty low budget, uh, you know, Romero film. I mean, but it's Romero. Romero pulled it off, you know. Um, probably wouldn't have stood the test of time if it wasn't by Romero, I personally think. Um, but, you know, whenever I heard that they were remaking it at first, it's like, oh, shit, just another, you know, remake, cash in on another movie that really has no cash in value, like no name value at all. Like, they're coming out with a ton of these movies now that no one knows is a remake, like Stepfather. Who the fuck knows it's a remake but us horror fans, and we're going to hate the, the new one. I mean, your average person is going to like the new ones, probably never even seen or heard of the originals. But anyway, so then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, if any, you know, older film can, uh, you know, d get something positive from, like, a new remake, it would be The Crazies, because, you know, it's pretty low budget. Give a little bit bigger budget, put some decent actors in there, give a good director, go to town, you know, see what you can do. Um, and they dropped the ball on it, man. I liked the first, like, half hour. The first five minutes is really good. I mean, it was like, literally, like, starts off with a, uh, you know, showing the town all exploded and everything. It's the first fucking scene. And then it goes back two days and, you know, starts off first, like, three, four minutes, you know. Oh, blah, 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 we're small town. We're having fun. We're playing baseball. Look at us. We're in average small town. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a guy with a gun. And it's downward spiraling into hell after that. It was good when they're discovering everything. You know, it was it was pretty cool. Um, and then just after a while, like after the okay, I'm I'm just going to warn everybody spoilers. So if you haven't seen the crazy shit, you might not want to watch this. But honestly, this movie was pretty predictable as it goes. Uh, after the fucking National Guard, Army, CDC, what the fuck ever they were. Uh, showed up in town, the government, after the government showed up in town, started taking away everybody, that's why it just lost me. I've seen a million movies like this, and I've seen it done better. Um, yeah, the fucking, um, I, you, okay, at the end, you find out whenever he gets, whenever the sheriff gets taken away, you know, and, and off, and they're going to be shipped off, and whenever, you know, the woman gets taken away, they think she's sick or whatever, and she gets put with the rest of the crazies, and he finds his way back and everything, and it doesn't show what happens to the rest of the people that got out again till the end. I already knew it. From the time he got away, I was like, okay, well, they all get massacred, and fucking, he'll, he'll survive, you know, so, like I said, spoilers, fuck ever, I already warned you. Um, I, I knew that would happen, so that's no big surprise. Uh... A couple of CGI moments I didn't like where, like, a truck flips over. It looks like a made-for-TV sci-fi uh, movie, you know. Uh, the the close-up effects were pretty good. Um, I like the... It did have a good par paranoia feel to it. I was very... It's very claustrophobic in a wide-open space, and it's not easy to do. That, that's cool. And it makes you paranoid. Like, I'm a... You know, I don't like being in packed public places anyways, but, you know, you're in a, you're in a pretty packed theater, and it's a, watching a movie about all these people, you know, attacking, and it makes you pretty paranoid. Uh, on the acting front, I like the main guy. He's cool. Uh, the, the girls' parts were nothing special. I wish they would have made them better. Uh, they, they could have been a lot better. They were just kind of your average whiny uh girls that the guys have to save and i don't like that i like to see stronger women in uh in films and television and everything um that's a cliche that still is around that i don't know why the men have to save everything um i actually kind of like the the deputy better the deputy did pretty well uh, i haven't seen him in anything before that i can remember the main guy i always think of him uh from i know he's been a lot of other shit like really big stuff too um, like, I know he's in, like, Gone 60 Seconds, and, you know, like, really big stuff. Wasn't he Hitman, I think? Uh, but the thing I always remember him from was Scream 2. 
that's why I always remember when he gets, you know, off by uh, Roseanne's sister, Jackie. Uh, that's what I always remember. Uh, and the director, I didn't know anything about him. I looked him up. Turns out his only, like, big thing that he had done was Sahara. That fucking Matthew McConaughey movie that I never even watched. That just looked like a hunk of shit. And I saw in there where he has Brood, The Brood in development. Uh, you know, remake of the Cronenberg film. Um, he has Flash Gordon up next that he's working on. So, I, I don't know. I mean, the director... The directing wasn't bad. I mean, it, it was a good-looking film. I mean, but honestly, about halfway through, I checked out. I didn't give a fuck about them. I didn't give a fuck about anybody. I was just ready to just fucking chuck them all. Well, I'm all die and leave the fucking theater. Um, I don't know, man. One thing that was bothering me about it is what makes these two people special. Uh, the sheriff and the doctor already. They're the 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 king and queen of this small town you know he's the sheriff she's the town doctor so of course and there are the two prettiest people in town so they're together that's hollywood for you right there you know what i would love to see a movie with two average looking people with nothing jobs you know that don't mean shit they barely scrape by you know you know fucking get out and be the special people i mean yeah, there's been movies like that before you know zombie apocalypse movies like you know, Shaun of the Dead, where he was nothing, but now he's, you know, then he gets out and survives. But I'm talking about, like, a big blockbuster movie where it's not the pretty people that have, you know, the king you know, the king and queen positions of the small town get out. I mean, even Slither did that, and I love Slither. You know, why can't it just be, like, the two random people? Why can't it have been, you know, the, the one uh, woman officer in Slither who, who got out, you know, that packs the box lunch? That'd be cool. Anyways, um... Overall, I gave it like a three and a half out of five. It's, I mean, honestly, I was thinking in my head when this started, I was like, man, that's pretty good. I'll give this at least a four, you know? But honestly, now it's like three, three and a half. I'm feeling, you know, three and a half. That's my official statement. Three and a half stars out of five for the crazies. Go see it. It's a good solid horror film. Um, it's kind of by the numbers. You expect what's going to happen. Nothing special. You know, Friday, Saturday night date movie. Uh, better to go and see Cop Out, I'm sure. That's a whole other bag of worms. What the fuck, Kevin? What the fuck? I've been a fan of yours since uh, since before Marats came out. I just feel let down with that. And I don't even want to see it. Like, I'll wait for DVD, honestly, for Cop Out. I, that's a whole other bag of worms, though, but whatever. And, uh, anyways... That, that was it. I just wanted to voice my opinions. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go and check out my video I did yesterday for the DVD Fiends. I reviewed uh, Sometimes They Come Back in a very cool, clever way. I think I'm smart. And uh, just go check a comment. I already got over 100 views in one day. So that's awesome. Thank you for everybody. Uh, I'll leave it you know, as a comment down below. Uh, thank you, everybody who watched that. Thank you, everybody who watches this. Leave comments. Let me know what you think of the movie. Let me know if you think I'm an asshole. As always, find me on the DVD Fiends, youtube.com backslash DVD Fiends every Thursday. Find me on myspace.com backslash Rotten. Find me on twitter.com backslash Rotten. I'm almost at you know, 100 people going strong, so hit me up on Twitter. If you want to follow my goings, I usually do little musings about movies. Uh, so a way to keep up to date with little short reviews and everything. Um... And yeah, find me always here on youtube.com backslash files rotten. Sub, add as friend, comment. Alright, Lee. <laughs>